begin with a truly frightening situation in Westland. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Hillary Golston. A witness tells Fox to a driver smashed into multiple parked cars, including his own. We're going live now to Fox 2's Camille Amiri, who has this uh, pretty incredible video. Camille, what can you tell us about the investigation thus far? Yeah, well, you can see behind me uh, the investigation still going on right now. Accident reconstruction teams out here, police still out here, crime scene tape out here. Uh, this happened on Wildwood in Westland, probably around 7:15, 7:30. Now, take a look at this video that you were talking about. I know Hillary, you've gotten a chance to see it. This is from the witness who saw a portion of what she was doing, pulling in, backing up, crashing into cars. You can hear the screeching right now, uh, crashed into his car on the street. We also talked to several other witnesses who also saw this, who called 911. In all of this, while she was crashing into the cars, she apparently hit a man and pinned him partially under his own car. His legs actually went underneath his car, the red car that you see in this video. We talked to a witness who didn't want to go on camera earlier tonight, but said that she actually stayed with him until 911 came. I mean, it's the emergency crews came while his wife called 911. She said his legs were badly injured, but he was able to talk about his two uh, little boys, twin twins, two months old. Uh, and this was going to be the first time that he was going to go out to dinner with his wife and the twins were going to be babysat by a family member. We also talked to the man who lives next door to them, whose car was crashed into, who videotaped this. Take a listen. I was inside the house and I sort of heard a loud bang. Uh, went outside, heard some people screaming, and I saw the lady in the red car over there. And then she just sort of started slamming into other cars as hard as she could came back and hit my car. I don't even know the lady. Neither of the neighbors know her. It was a random act of violence, honestly. So the woman, uh, her car was disabled. The airbags went off once she backed into these cars again. So she had to wait. I guess neighbors were actually telling me that they kind of stood around her car until police got here and took her into custody. Uh, they were saying that she was laughing at the time, that she may have been suffering some sort of mental breakdown. Neighbors are also saying that an old boyfriend lived here at this house a long time ago, but no longer lives here at this house with it. She was targeting where she actually hit the guy in his legs, badly injured. So a lot to unpack on this story, uh, but we will continue to follow it and update you as soon as we get more information. Reporting live in Westland. Camille and Mary Fox, 2 News. Yeah, and Camille, that video really is shocking. I mean, it's hard to even look at because it appears that this person is driving into another vehicle on purpose. I mean, that's how it comes across in the video. Is there anyone else who could be responsible in this case uh, besides the driver? Anyone who may have known what this person was up to before they went on this chaotic spree? Uh, well, we have heard that, that there was possibly a welfare check done on her because of her mental state earlier in the night. Uh, but those details we're still working on trying to get confirmed. So we know she was in the car by herself. Uh, we don't know what happened up leading up to this, but we know that she, like you said, you saw her back up and then crash back in and it was full speed ahead. We talked to probably 15 or 20 people who witnessed this, who just happened to be outside in the area or hear something and come out. And they they believe that had those airbags not gone off and had her car not been disabled because of the back and forth that she may have continued to do this. So um, obviously a lot more to come on this a horrible tragedy uh, pulling for that man who, like I said, a young father, uh, his legs badly injured, uh, but conscious until he got, you know, while he was being loaded up into the ambulance. So our prayers are with him and his family tonight. Yes, Hillary, back to you. Absolutely. Our thoughts and prayers certainly with that man tonight. And we wish him hopefully a full recovery that he can get home to his small children. Thank you so much, Camilla Mary, live for us tonight.